Hi Clayton, this is Alan Cockerell with my pro hitting coach. We're going to take a look at your video today. I have you lined up with David Eckstein. Uh, you know, the first thing that we're going to talk about, Clayton, is you know your setup position is yours. It's it's um, it's the one thing that you'll see that's different with all hitters. Uh, one thing I am going to point out is just the width of your stance. Um, we want to try to draw power and um, drive from our lower half and our legs and. And, and you'll see Eckstein here is much wider than you, and it's just a better way to be able to feel the ground and get grounded so that we can draw energy and power from the ground up. So uh, we'll just take this into right into our load, okay? Um, biggest thing that I notice in your load, and, and there are several different types of loads, and you look to be uh, like a guy that gets his foot down uh, early, which there's no problem with that. The one thing that I see though is that your head is sitting over your back leg and when that leg gets over that back foot and the head gets over the back leg we have a tendency to want to either go forward or go up and out of out of the ground. You can see Eckstein his head is more centered over his belt buckle puts him in a um, better uh, position to attack the baseball and uh, I just have some concerns here with <clears throat> where your where your head is in your in your load. Okay, we're going to run this now to the next move, which is when the foot starts to get down. And we can see here, you know, again, Eckstein's head is right over his belt buckle, and because your head was sitting back, we have just a little bit of glide or just a little bit of slide with this front hip. You can see Eckstein's hip. Is, is fully underneath him and again just a much better position to attack from so I think that all goes back to just kind of the width of your stance and, and being able to sit, uh, be, a, be able to stay more centered okay we'll go now to the next phase is when the foot, foot fully plants into the ground or the heel plants into the ground and what we're going to start to see now is we're going to start to see some drive with the lower half um, the, the first thing that goes, and basically they work in conjunction, but this back knee will drive to the inner part of this front leg. And as it does, the elbow is going to drop down into the slot. Your elbow has dropped down. One thing that concerns me is your back knee is starting to work out and around this front leg. If, when that happens, that causes our hands to cast out and around the ball. Okay? It just makes for a little bit longer uh, swing playing uh, makes it very difficult to stay through balls and drive through balls that are middle to outer half in the plate. Uh, so we'll just go forward and we'll see the next position that we get into. And the next position is the actual drive with the lower half. Um, we, um, we get to a connected point now where the lower half, this back knee, and you can see here, Again, we're a little outside that front leg, but the back knee starts to drive. The elbow now has dropped down. We should see a connection with hands, elbow, and back hip all in alignment. And you can see here your connection is very good. Um, I think your hands are starting to work out a little bit around your body uh, as opposed to staying in tight and working the hands forward. But we'll go to the next frame, and that's going to be able to show us exactly what I'm talking about. You can see here the, the lag of the barrel with Eckstein. Um, his bat and his hands are in a straight line. The, the handle of his bat is not being exposed into the, into the hitting area. You can see here it's a little difficult to see, but the barrel of your bat is starting to work out and around your hands, and we're just exposing the the, the handle of the bat or the, the bad part of the bat a little bit too quickly into the hitting zone. And again, what causes this? Um, I really think it's this back knee that worked out and around this front leg that caused your hands to come out and cast that barrel out and around your hands. Okay, so we'll go to the connection or the uh, contact point. At contact, you know, you're in a good position. You're, you're head up, your head down, or palm up, palm down. Your head and eyes are looking down the barrel. Uh, very strong position. Um, I'm going to point out some things with the lower half here 
just the lower half drive that Eckstein gets is um, a little bit more pronounced than yours. And again, I think this just has to do with the, the width of your stance when, when, you, when you get into setup and you get into your loaded position. If we have just a little bit better base, it's going to allow for a little bit more drive and the ability to stay inside the ball with your lower half. Um, you know, and, and you know, we took it back to the load, and you know, you kind of got your head back. You, like I said, you probably heard the term "stay back," so you really got everything on that back side. And I think if we just spread you out three, four, maybe even five inches, uh, it's going to help keep you more centered and keep the head more in the in the center of the body. Uh, the next phase is just running it through to extension, and then. You know, what we want to see is we want to see the barrel of the bat starting to extend out towards the pitcher at this particular point. So um, I'm going to go back and, and just run you, run you through a little bit. Uh, and again, you know, the width of your stance is so important with being able to draw energy from the ground. You get your foot down early, uh, which is fine, uh, but I think we get back and we really want to take our head and everything and sit it on that back side. And, and when we do, we got to get off that. So uh, the move is to kind of slide forward with your hip. And when we slide forward with our hip, we end up casting out and around. So um, that's, that, that's going to make it very, very difficult to handle pitches uh, out or half of the plate, pitches that we should hit. So um, we're just going to stop it again, briefly go through what I was talking about. And at this particular point, you know, we'd like to see this, this more underneath you. Um, at the uh, next phase, we want to make sure that you can see Eckstein's heel is staying on the ground, but he's getting weight transferring and he's getting drive into that front side and your knees just starting to work out and around this front leg. That in turn is going to cause the hands to come out and around and we're going to cast the barrel outside of the hands. So, uh, my suggestion would be, Clayton, let's go to, uh, go to my uh, lower half drills uh, with weight shift and weight transfer. And um, notice that I use a, a wedge on the back foot. I'd like for you to try to be able to find one of those or make one of those. I made mine. It's uh, pretty easy to do. It's um, a little less than a 45 degree angle, but it makes you feel that, that angle with that back knee driving inside the front leg as opposed to out and around the front leg. And then let's go ahead and take a look at my hands drills. Uh, and let's try to get your uh, try to get your hands working in a more direct path so we're releasing the barrel with maximum bat speed through the ball. But I tell you what, you do a lot of things very well, kiddo. And uh, look forward to hearing back from you. And I, I hope you do these drills, and, and, and I'd love to see you.